All right, team. It's a great question. I want you to take a moment now and I want you to read it to yourself, okay? This is a great question. Take a moment now. It's from the, it's from, I believe, the 190 test. Everyone take, uh, this is going to take probably two minutes to do. Two minutes. Start now with this transitional writing question. Go. Pause me. Go. Uh, I'm going to read this one and then, uh, and, and you can, you can zip through, speed through it if you want to, but it says here, children in a pre-kindergarten class. Let's circle that. So what do we have? Kindergarten is five to six. So we're looking at somewhere between four to five, right? Pre-kindergarten. Okay. So I'm going to write down four to five. Okay. And I'm going to circle the five. Just, just, you know, that upper end of that group. Children in a pre-kindergarten class are busy working in various learning centers. The teacher has provided writing material throughout the centers to encourage the children to write. Which of the following examples of children's writing most likely indicates the child has begun to develop an understanding of letter sound relationships? All right, so we have that pre-kindergarten class, and we're looking for an example where they start to understand basic letter sound relationships. So when it says letter sound relationships, it's talking about the alphabetical principle. Which one of these is the child doing the alphabetical principle? Is it is it this one right here with this child right here? Uh, the child is playing with alphabet blocks uh, in the block center. She decides to write down some of the block letters on an index card. So is it the child playing with blocks? Now, this is more more of a... Uh, this would be a great with this would be maybe a alphabet awareness and alphabet knowledge type of activity, right? Naming and recognizing letters. And, and maybe there's there's some writing going on. But what we're looking for with the alphabetical principle, we're looking to see that the child can match up um, 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 words with their match corresponding letters, right? So we're looking to see that they're able to match up sounds with letters and letters with their predictable letters with predictable sounds, right? So this one would maybe be more of a writing thing and an alphabet awareness thing. Okay, how about this one right here? Denny is writing a letter uh, in the post office center. He writes B -Y, uh, B -B -W -Y on the envelope and tells the teacher, it says, grandma. Okay, why is it not the alphabetical principle? B -W -Y, grandma. B -W -Y. Well. I mean, he's indicating, he is showing an awareness that the letters there, this is sort of that emergent stage, right? Indicating that the function of print, indicating that this writing and these letters carry meaning, yes, but he's not necessarily matching up any of these letters with any sounds in the word grandma, right? So for that reason, it's out. We're looking for something that we see that letter sound correspondence start to appear. Okay, and we're looking for inventive spelling. How about this one right here? Kate finish, uh, Kate finishes making a collage in the art center. She uses a, a pencil to write Kate at the bottom of the collage. This is great. She writes her name. Now, why wouldn't that be an a, a good example of the alphabetical principle? Well, here's the thing. Remember, we talked about this with the name. The name is the first thing a child learns to write. So. You know, it's it's not really the best example of if the child has the alphabetical principle because they practice it and, and really have memorized it at a certain point. And definitely by, you know, five or four to five, they've had a lot of exposure to working with their name. Yes. And so in this case right here, um, even though, you, you know, if this was somebody else's name, well, that might be something else. That might be an example. But, but in this case here, uh, I would cross it out because it's not um because right now you know she's already had exposure to that one a lot okay so what do we got here raul raul is playing in the grocery store center he makes a list of items he wants to buy at the store sup this milk bread now look at this list can you see the inventive spelling we got great inventive spelling let's take the word 
uh, soup. We got the su oop up. They did their best. They didn't know. They, they, ooh, su oop. What is that called? Ooh. It's two vowels that make one sound. It's a vowel digraph. They didn't know the vowel digraph in phonics that goes with the ooh sound. That And they didn't know the correct one. So they did the U. That's fine. But they got the initial sound, the end sound, and they did their best with the middle. This one right here, milk, they got the initial sound. They got the uh, the end sound, the end blend. Nice job. They just didn't get that vowel sound. Uh, or bread. They get the initial blend. Great job. And the end. So this is really a great job here with inventive spelling. So I'm going to circle some key things here. The answer is D. When we look at this one right here. Let me circle this. If you were to read this over on the day of the test and you saw pre-kindergarten, is it fair to say, hey, that's four to five? Is that fair? Yes? Okay. And is it clear that they're working on writing? Uh, because, I mean, I'm just going to circle how many times they say writing. Writing, writing, writing. They're working on writing. This is a pre-kindergarten writing activity. So it's not a sound activity. It's a, it's a print activity involving writing. So we would go sound or print. And we'd be like, it's not sound. It's clearly a writing thing. It says writing, writing, write in the question. Now, what type of writing thing is it? Well, it's something where we're going to be doing letter sound relationships. So at this age, letter sound relationships is probably the alphabetical principle. Agreed? And that's when you, you search. That's when you search, actively search, scan these for words that use inventive spelling. And if you can spot your friend, you'll get to the answer right away. Yeah? Okay, now let's see. The, the answer, the, the, this question got cut off a little bit, but let's just go to where it is. Okay. Oh, no, this is from a, a different test. I'm sorry. This is from a Michigan test. Uh, great question. You might want to take a look at this test. That was a very good question. And uh, it is. Uh, it has ideas like transitional writing stage, inventive spelling, first, last, middle uh, vowel sound or medial vowel sound, the alphabetical principle. I like this one a lot. Okay. There were so many practice exams to pull from. You know, we try to focus on questions from the, the three states that we chose were, were the East Coast Foundations of Reading. Um, we chose uh, Science of Teaching Reading in Texas. Uh, we chose uh, RECA questions from California. Those were the three major regions that we, we focused on in the United States. But, you know, there are a lot of great uh, questions out there. So we try to include some of those from different states. But, you know, we, we mainly focused on, you know, the Foundations of Reading science of teaching reading and the RECA test in this class, okay? But you can still learn from a practice test like this, all right? Because it is a really good question. All right, let's go to the next one, okay? See you soon.